Good morning and welcome. As we celebrate this Catholic Schools Week, today is Wednesday of the fourth week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass is for Anna Tomsey, and our virtue this week is mercy. Mercy is the virtue of forgiveness. It is the de decision to stop hating and to renounce vengeance. Mercy forgives wrongdoing. Please join us in our entry hymn, number 394, Jesus Comes to Us, number 394. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. That we might worthily enter into these sacred mysteries on the beautiful feast day of St. Blaise and on our beautiful Mass for Catholic Schools Week. Let's call to mind our sins, and for the times we've sinned, ask God to give us pardon and peace. Lord Jesus, you came to gather all the nations into the peace of your kingdom. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you strengthen us with your word and with the sacraments. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, the supplications your people make under the patronage of the martyr St. Blaise, and grant that they may rejoice in peace in this present life and find help for life eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. reading from the letters to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. You have also forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as a child. My son, do not disdain the discipline of the Lord or lose heart when reproved by him. For whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. He scourges every son he acknowledges. Endure your child as a discipline. God treats you as his son. 
For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? At the time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy, but for pain. Yet later it brings a peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet, that what is lame may not be dislocated, but healed. Strive for peace with everyone, and for the holiness that which, without which no one will see the Lord. See it that no one will be deprived of the grace of God, that no bitter root springs up and cause trouble, through which many may become defiled. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial psalm is, The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. For the kindness of the Lord is eternity to eternity towards, towards those who fear him and justice to chantrance, chantrance among those who keep his covenant. The Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the, carp the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, a prophet is not without honor, except in his native place and among his own kin and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord, priest. Good morning. How are you doing? Good. Good. Have any of you, don't raise your hands. No, raise your hand. No. Does anyone know what the word discipline means? Anyone ever got a discipline report? <laughs> That's what I was going to ask, but you don't have, oh, you, okay, go ahead. Okay. Your parents won't see that. Anyone know, what does discipline mean? Anyone know? Okay. 
Okay, punishment. Case? Or is it, who is that? Can't, huh? Okay, to get in trouble, punishment, what else? What else? Oh, okay. Wow, you seem like you really know this well, right? To do something that's not right, right? And then you have to have a teacher's conference. Okay, good. Um, I understand that that's what it seems like discipline means. But do you know what discipline means? Do you know what, because that word is in the first reading, discipline. Do you know, uh, have you ever heard of followers of Jesus? There are some way, some we call apostles. What else do we call the followers of Jesus? I heard someone. What is it? Disciples. So wait a minute. You're telling me that the disciples of Jesus, it's almost the exact same word as discipline, and disciples... So they must have been people who got in trouble and had to go tell their parents things. And No. Because you know what the word disciple means? It means student. Student. And so to be disciplined means to learn. Right? That's what it means, to learn. That's what discipline means. To be open to learning. And so, Mr. Teich, yes. Okay, tells you not to do it again. So do you learn from it? Yes, that's the whole point of it. So that you learn, right? And sometimes you do get discipline reports, but those reports are to say, hey, we want to teach you a better way to do it, right? And so hopefully... You learn. So, when would we um, not learn? When, when, when is it? Uh, what, what would it be in us that makes us not learn? Let me, let me give you an example. Um, so, if we were not open to learning, maybe if we looked at the teacher, if I looked at Mrs. Allen and said, she doesn't know any better than me, right? So if I said that, if that was my attitude, It'd be hard for me to learn anything from her if I thought we were equals in our knowledge and in our wisdom and in our understanding. But if I look at her and say, she can teach me something, she knows some things that I don't, she has wisdom beyond what I have, then we are open to knowledge. The responsorial psalm talked about the blessings that come to those who fear God. And that doesn't mean that God wants us to be afraid of him but it means that we, God wants us to see that we are not his equals, that God is greater, that God is beyond us. Because when we understand that, when we are humble about that, we can receive God's blessings. In the gospel today, Jesus was unable to do many healings in his hometown. Why? Why? Anybody, anybody, anybody else besides these two that are answering all the questions? Why was Jesus unable to heal in his hometown? They weren't open to him. What did they think of him? They said, who is this, who's this guy think he is? We know who he is. We played on his t-ball team. He's nothing special. He's nothing more than us, right? So they didn't think he was any more than them. So they said, you got nothing to offer us. So they were undisciplined. They were, un, they were not open to his teaching. And if we're not open to his teaching, can we receive it? What do you think? No. If we're not open to his mercy, can we feel it? Can we receive it? No. If we're not open to his blessings, will we receive them? No. So what do we need? We need discipline. Right? Discipline. And what discipline means is understanding, right, that the teacher has something to tell us, that the Lord has something to tell us, that, that we humble ourselves and make ourselves open to what the Lord has to offer, to what our parents have to offer, to what our teachers have to offer, maybe even to what I have to offer. That takes 
discipline. And what that says is, I am willing to be a student. I am willing to listen. I'm willing to think that you have something to teach me. So that is a pretty cool thing to celebrate on Catholic Schools Week, to celebrate discipline. Even to celebrate discipline reports, right? Because discipline reports are okay. They say, hey, there's a better way to do it. Are you willing to listen? Are you willing to be a disciple and let us teach you a better way? That's the whole point of the things that we're doing. And the greatest teacher we have is Jesus. He's the smartest. He's the greatest. He's full of the most wisdom. He is wisdom itself. And so all of us, not just you disciples, you students, but all of us who are disciples of Jesus need to be humble before him, believe he knows more than we do, believe what he knows is best, and let him teach us. Discipline. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty important stuff. So next time you get a discipline report, don't get all upset. Say, okay, what can I learn? What can I learn from this? Let me be a disciple. All right. So today is St. Blaise Day, Feast of St. Blaise. And normally on this day, if we had Mass, you would all line up, and I would have these candles that are crossed, and I would put them uh, around your throat like that, and I'd give you the blessing of St. Blaise. But this year, why do you think we can't do that this year? Why do you think, Campbell? What's that? Yeah, because then I'd be putting the candles that were on you on the next person, and da 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 So we're not, we're not allowed to do that this year. And that's probably a good thing, right, to not do that. But I can give you the blessing, and it's a very special blessing, okay? So what I want you guys to do is stand up. And we'll give this blessing to you, and we'll bless everybody, any parents or anybody who's listening at home as well, okay? So through the intercession of St. Blaise, bishop and martyr, May God deliver you from every disease of the throat and every other illness. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, we're going to have our readers come up and offer up our prayers. Let's trust in God's mercy and God's love for us. Trust that God knows what is best for us as we offer these prayers. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer for the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, Bishop Zubik, Father Matt, Father Lou, Father Ward, and Father Jim, and for all bishops, priests, and deacons. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, that she may continue to foster the mission of the Catholic education. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who teach in Catholic institutions, that they may recognize their works as a ministry and respond to the call of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all students in Catholic schools, that their time in school may help prepare them to be people who bring the gospel into the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For families in Thanksgiving, for the sacrifices that they make to send their children to Catholic schools, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation's leaders, that they may do what is right and do their best to protect and encourage the growth of Catholic schools, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For Anna Tomsey, for whom this Mass is offered, and for all the prayers and intercessions we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear and answer these prayers that we make through the intercession of St. Blaise and St. Ansgar. We make them trusting that you are our teacher, that you know what is best, and that you live and reign one God forever and ever. Amen. Please join us in our offertory hymn, number 300. 
376, Servant Song, number 376. Sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. May the offerings we bring in commemoration of St. Blaise be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, so that they may be pleasing to your majesty, just as the shedding of this martyr's blood was precious in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr blaze, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, in which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so, with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts. We pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and our sisters, who've fallen asleep in hope of the resurrection, and all who've died in your mercy, welcome them all into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with all of the blessed apostles, with St. Blaise, all the glorious martyrs, with St. Ansgar, St. Wendelin, St. Clair, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom and the power and the Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You shan't try under my roof. Number 350, the Supper of the Lord, number 350. Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us the determination which made your blessed martyr blaze faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Well, it's great to be with you. I hope we have, even though this is a a weird Catholic Schools week, I hope it will be a good one. For us, keep being and so proud of you. So proud of your teachers for doing such a great job and uh, really living out this mission. Uh, Very, very proud to be a part of the school and uh, all that you guys are doing. So uh, keep it up and have a great, great week. We're going to have, I think, after uh, Mass, uh, we're going to have some certificates and things like that. So we'll have uh, the fearless leader, Mrs. Klaus, come up after that too. Okay? So great. So kids, I got a favor to ask of you. If you think that your teachers are awesome, can you turn to them and give them a big clap and say thank you for all the stuff that you're doing for us? Yeah, that's great. That's great. Okay, the Lord be with you.
with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks Thank be you. to God. Please join us in our closing hymn, number 640, Bring Forth the Kingdom, number 640. Good morning. This week is Catholic Schools Week, and as a school, we are celebrating Catholic education through a variety of classroom activities. St. Wendelin's School prides ourselves in academic excellence, so it seems fitting that we take a few minutes today to announce our students' achievements for the second quarter of the year in celebrating these actions. The perfect attendance certificates are awarded to students that have attended school every day for the entire quarter. In order to learn, students must be present at school. So this success should be acknowledged. Please stand when I call your name to be recognized. Clara Filgus, William Gallot, Cooper Hawk, Finian Mooney, Jax Ritzert, Kellen Watterson, Gracelyn Woldridge, Blaze Alvey, Leila Baldoff, Kylie Bellis, Jace Bishop, Luke Franz, Abigail Holzer, Colin Riccadella, Maisie Reimer, Nev Shriver, Lily Turk, John Williams, Coleman Klaus, Kalena Geibel, Christopher Criley, Jackson Lunn, Joel McKissick, Brantley Poindexter, Allie Ritzert, Raynell Schock, Liam Stanley, Leslie Welder, Grace Bresnahan, Logan Geibel, Haley Holzer, Mila Reimer, London Walker, Natalie Baldoff, Jackson Bishop, Emma Fligger, Crosby Lunn, Bailey Poindexter, Derek Riccadella, Braden Wayno, Regan Agner, Jenna Fligger, Brandon Wallace, Natalie Welder, Campbell Klaus, Caitlin Dick, Lydia Maley, Isaac Waller, Charlie Nolet, Christopher Robinson, Casey Klaus, Vincent Connerty, Patrick Nowakowski. Congratulations. You may be seated. The Accelerated Reader Program encourages our students to read outside of the classroom. Students that receive this certificate have either met their grade level reading goals or scored high enough on the comprehension tests that follow the books read. When I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Blaze Alvey, Layla Baldoff, Kylie Bellis, Jace Bishop, Abigail Holzer, Bryson Reddick, Colin Riccadella, Nev Shriver, Bradley Teich, Lily Turk, John Williams, Coleman Klaus, Christopher Criley, Brantley Poindexter, Nash Rogers, 
Renelle Schock, Anisha Semple, Liam Stanley, Haley Holzer, Zoe Holt, Easton Reddick, Mila Reimer, Aspen Viaman, Sierra Viaman, London Walker, Natalie Baldoff, Jackson Bishop, Emma Fligger, Lucas Holt, Derek Riccadella, Campbell Klaus, Charlie Nolet, Christopher Robinson, Casey Klaus, Vincent Connerty, Shiley Karenbauer, Kylie Turk. Congratulations. You may be seated. St. Wendelin School incorporates the Rocket Math program to improve our students' basic math computation skills. Students that receive this certificate have shown the most growth throughout this quarter utilizing this program. Please stand when I call your name to be recognized. Zion Semple, Samuel Teich, Layla Baldoff, Maisie Reimer, Coleman Klaus, Renell Schock, Liam Stanley, Easton Reddick, Sierra Viaman, Natalie Baldoff, Jackson Bishop, Crosby Lunn, Aurora Neff, Natalie Welder, Campbell Klaus, Mia Karenbauer, Charlie Nolet, Christopher Robinson, Casey Klaus, Kylie Turk. Congratulations. You may be seated. The Student of the Week program promotes a strong relationship between the school and our parish. Each week, one of our students is featured in the parish bulletin to spotlight their achievements in school and outside of school in order to increase our students' confidence. When I call your name, please stand to be recognized. Caitlin Dick, Kylie Turk, Lydia Maley, Leslie Welder, Joel McKissick, Natalie Welder, Allie Ritzert, Colin Riccadella, Kalena Geibel, Maisie Reimer, Jace Bishop, Aurora Neff. Congratulations. Please be seated. The Principal's Award is awarded to students that have earned a 93% or higher in all subjects at the end of this quarter. This academic excellence is something to be proud of and should be recognized. Please stand to be acknowledged when I call your name. Jace Bishop, Abigail Holzer, Lily Turk, Renell Schock, Mila Reimer, Aspen Viaman, Natalie Baldoff, Jackson Bishop, Derek Riccadella, Christopher Robinson, Casey Klaus, Kylie Turk. Congratulations. You may be seated. As we complete our second quarter of the 2021 2021 school year, we want to congratulate all of our students for the academic progress they have achieved during this very challenging circumstances we are in. Thank you to our staff for working tirelessly to continue to provide daily instruction on a variety of different platforms. Thank you to our families for choosing St. Wendelin School for your children's education. And thank you for the constant prayers and support from Father Matt, Father Lou, Father Jim, and Father Ward. Please kneel, we will do our lunch prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Bless this 